St Paul's High School is pleased to welcome you all on this very beautiful evening. We extend a warm welcome to our very distinguished chief guest of the evening, Mr. Raul Bajja IAS, District Collector and Magistrate, Varangal. He is the alumnus of our school. He has attained eminence in his field and is well respected in the community. We thank you sir for accepting our invitation and taking time away from your commitments to be with us this evening. We have amidst us the guests of honor, the parents of school pupil leaders. We welcome Mr. M V Krishna Ya Naidu and Mrs. K Rajya Lakshmi, the parents of the head boy M G O P Krishna, Dr. Deepak Pandharpurkar and Dr. Modini Pandharpurkar, the parents of the head girl P A Purva. We also extend a warm welcome to the eminent principals of various institutions, fathers, brothers, sisters, parents, and well wishes to our annual day function. This is an occasion where we present to you a report of our activities and achievements during the academic year 2011 and 12. So, we request all of you to join us in celebrating the highlights of the year gone by. Our talented students have prepared a feast of music and dance for your entertainment. We hope you will enjoy the evening's program. Vision and mission. The vision of St Paul's High School is at once an inspiration and a motivation for success. Aspiring higher, striving harder and conquering new goals. Our school motto, Truth is Light, is the flaming torch that guides us in all our activities. The mission statement is to enlighten and expand young minds and to sharpen our moral values. To be bold, creative and innovative, to explore new paths. Theme of the year, Trans Endeavor, Trans Fix Endeavor. The theme for the year motivates us to break through all the barriers that seek to restrict our efforts towards excellence. It urges all of us to move forward and not get intimidated with what may seem to be insurmountable hurdles. Transfix never is the injunction to keep moving and overcome anything that prevents us in achieving our goals. School management. After seven glorious years of dedicated and exemplary service, Brother Shaw Reddy took high responsibilities, handing over charge to the Vice Principal, Brother Sudhakar Reddy, in June 2010. Brother Sudhakar Reddy, as principal, has exhibited highest levels of dynamism and meticulous attention with leadership by example. The T. Chandrasekhar Reddy Memorial Award, instituted by the Deccan Chronicle Group, is an eloquent testimony of the outstanding leadership and tremendous achievements of Saint Paul's High School. Senior teacher Mrs. Geeta Mulani received the award on his behalf. Brother N. F. Joseph joined Saint Paul's as vice principal in 2010. He had served in the same post earlier during the year 1980-81. Senior brother Brother Workmans continues to take an active part in the management of the school. We present the academic achievements, the SSC results 2010-2011. The test of excellence for a school is the level of achievement attained by the students in the SSC board examinations. Each year, our students scale the peaks of performance, bringing laurels to the school. In one way, the results are the fruit of the tender care and guidance provided by the dedicated teachers who give personal attention to each student under their care. The school made history this year with not only 100% pass results, but all the students securing first division. 201 students appeared for SSC board examination. Nirmal Dalal of Class 10A topped the school results, securing 573 marks. This is a record for the school. The second position was backed by K Ravi Teja of Class 10A with 570 marks, and Priya Shah of Class 10A with 568 marks secured the third position. 23 students scored 100% in mathematics, and eight students scored 100% in science. Out of 201 students who appeared, 49 students secured more than 90%, 97 students secured more than 80%, 43 students more than 70%, and 12 students more than 60%. We congratulate each and every student and their parents for their splendid performance in SSC Public Examination 2011. Farewell functions for outgoing students are a routine. but at st paul's for the first time parents were invited to the farewell function for the outgoing students the occasion turned out to be a hugely emotional experience the atmosphere became spiritually charged and special prayers sought god's blessings on these children to be successful in the examinations and in their future endeavors it was followed by dinner we believe that these record breaking results underscore the untiring efforts of our principal in personally guiding the students to do well in the examinations St Paul's High School's academic excellence took several leaps upward due to our principal's all-round initiative and total involvement. 
We are thankful to Mr. Ramesh Vemuganti who is counseling sessions with all the class 10 students on goal setting, building self confidence and remaining fully motivated towards success were important factors for the unprecedented success in 2011 SSE board examinations. Infrastructure Developments Excellence is not a destination, it is a journey we undertake. Along the way, we discard the old and bring the new. Much like the gardener who prunes the trees, our dynamic principle has set up improving the infrastructure facilities for the benefit of the students. The Alfonso Hall has been renovated extensively. It has been converted into an air-conditioned hall and fitted with an LCD projector. The main stage, as you can see, has undergone a facelift with marble flooring. The staff rooms in the middle school and the high school have been upgraded with modern amenities for the comfort of the teachers. To reduce the impact of frequent power failures, two generators have been installed in the school. One in the primary building with a capacity of 25 kV, the other in the high school building with a capacity of 45 kV. The school has been fitted with fire safety equipment for protection against fire mishaps. Fire extinguishers have been placed at various points in the school premises. Hose reel system is connected to the overhead tanks with booster pump in all the floors both in primary and high school buildings. Regular fire drills have been organized. New staff. We warmly welcome the following teachers who have joined the school in this academic year. Ms. N. Nagaraja Lakshmi, Ms. Rekha Gawalkar, Ms. Satya Krishna Veni, Mr. J. Sudhakar Reddy, Ms. B. A. Asha Rekha, Ms. P. Sujata, Ms. Sujata Linga Reddy, Ms. Ranjita D., Ms. Sveta Priyanka, Ms. Kanchana Meri, Ms. Asha Pandey. Retired staff. We tearfully bid goodbye to the teachers who attained superannuation and have retired from service during their year. We are indeed grateful to them for their dedicated efforts. Ms. K.R.S. Lakshmi, after 30 years of dedicated service as a Telugu and Hindi teacher in primary section. Ms. Surya Prabha, after 20 years of service as a Telugu Pandit in high school. In recognition of her dedicated service, she was honored with the Best Teacher Award from the Deccan Chronicle Group in their program, Guruji, We Love You. Obituary Tribute We mourn the sad demise of Mr. Murlidhar Dev Gaonkar, Hindi Pandit, a retired teacher who had served this institution for 35 years. We pray that his soul rests in peace. Teacher Award We are pleased to announce that Mr. Joshi Purushottam was honored with Acharya Seva Puraskar by the Lions Club International in appreciation of his extraordinary service and commitment in the field of education. The award was presented by Mr. Ramesh Babu, the director of club in the presence of veteran educationist Mr. Chukka Ramaya, MLC, at a function organized at FAPSI Auditorium on 4th September 2011. We congratulate Mr. Joshi. Send percent attendance. We salute the determined staff members who have achieved cent percent attendance against all odds. They did not miss a single day in the school. Mr. Israel Sebastian, Ms. Meena Florence, Mr. Madhusudan, Mr. Purushottam Sekwal, and Ms. Trupti. Seminars Knowledge is dynamic and is growing exponentially through the years. Teachers have to keep pace with the progress as technology advances and brings us new learnings. Seminars are one way to keep in touch with the latest trends in delivering quality education. A seminar titled To Develop Global Mindset for Teachers was conducted by our alumnus Mr. Ramesh Vemukanti. He has been closely associated with our school for the past two years. A seminar titled Smart Parenting in the Knowledge Economy for the Parents of Class 10 Students was also conducted by Mr. Vemukanti. Mr. Vemuganti held a periodic counselling sessions exclusively for the students of class 10 this year on the various challenges in academics. A seminar for 450 students of class 8 and 9 was conducted by Mr. Vaibha Prasad Desai, a software engineer. He motivated and inspired the students by sharing his adventurous travel on his bicycle. Through his interactive session, he urged them to change their outlook towards the environment. He advised them to explore and promote the various non-conventional energy-saving activities at micro level. Mr. Vaibhav Desai's goal is to travel 80,000 kilometers round the world on his bicycle to convey the message of reducing pollution and save the earth. Various Clubs It is said that every person has a passion in a field of his interest. In order to satisfy their curiosity and expand their knowledge in diverse fields, a number of new clubs have been launched during the year. The activities of these clubs gave them wider scope to develop their interest. Social Studies and Tourism Club as a part of the endeavour to explore incredible India, 
60 student members of the club visited the Chao Mahalla Palace. The visit gave them the chance to experience the grandeur and splendor of the Nizam, who was the former ruler of Hyderabad. The students also visited Sudha cars, where about 150 cars specially designed by well-known Mr. Sudhakar were displayed. Mathematics Club As a part of their activities, 52 student members visited Birla Science Museum and Planetarium. The Science Museum visit focused on developing the numerical aptitude in the students who aspired to become scientists. English Language Club To promote their literary skills, the student members went on a trip to Salarjang Museum where they were asked to write a brief essay on their experience of the visit to the museum. Resource persons Ms. Usha K. Sharma from the PRISM organization and Ms. Pankaja from the Pendaganti College of Law addressed the club members and gave them valuable tips on developing better communication skills and leadership qualities. On the occasion of Education Day on November 24th, the club held a debating competition on the topic Is SSC or CBSE better for competitive examinations? Quiz Club In the present-day competitive world, knowledge and general awareness of the day-to-day -day happenings is a necessity. Students participate in regular quiz sessions between the senior and junior students in order to develop their general knowledge skills. In Mon Spectra, held in Nalgonda, the senior team comprising Mohammed Mavis Siddiqui, Shashi Pritham and Ajay Kumar, as well as the junior team comprising Anshul Isaac, Ronak and Durga Prasad won the third prize. In the general knowledge test, Durga Prasad bagged the third prize. Hindi and Telugu language clubs. The student members were also taken on a field trip to Chao Mohalla Palace and Sudha Cars. Biology Club A field trip to the prestigious research institutions, Cellular and Molecular Biology, and Indian Institute of Chemical Technology was organized for students of classes 8 and 9. They closely observed the working models of solar cell and mass spectrum. The demonstration of experiments on crystallization, ebliometer, and processing of oils. Students of classes 5 to 9 were taken to the Billa Science Museum and Planetarium to see the archaeological gallery. They understood the value of preserving our priceless heritage of centuries. Computer Science Club As a part of Computer Science Club activity, the students were also taken to Billa Science Museum and Planetarium. Six students of the club participated in inter-school computer quiz competition organized at Little Flower High School in which the team of Varun Karwa of class 9 and Durga Prasad of class 8 bagged the third prize in the senior category. Physical Science Club The student members visited Indian Institute of Chemical Technology and Birla Science Museum and Planetarium to gain practical experience in this field trip. National Green Course Live Green Society held an inter-school competition on Ganesh idol making at St. Paul's High School in August. Yuva Akanksha and AP Pollution Control Board organized the contest for the students of Twin Cities. Principal Rev. Radha Sudhakar Reddy inaugurated the contest. Creative talent of students was seen in their use of eco-friendly materials. The chief advisor for this program was Prof. R. Ramesh Reddy, former Dean, UCE, Usmania University. The purpose of the competition was to increase awareness of environmental pollution and encourage use of eco-friendly materials to decorate the idols. A competition in story writing on the theme Young Climate Savers was conducted by World Wildlife Fund. An interesting and informative snake show was held by Mr. Avinash and his team from Friends of Snake Society. The snake show was organized by NGC in a tie-up with Avishkar India. Mr. Karthik and Mr. Arun of the Friends of Snake Society displayed 15 different species of snakes, venomous and non-venomous, and explained their habitat. The objective of the snake show was to create awareness about the snakes. Students learned that most snakes are non-venomous and are farmers' friends as they reduce rat population and help protect the crops. The students were very excited and spellbound while watching the show. An educational tour to Munnar was organized for the students of the club. They had the opportunity to witness the demonstration of building up self-confidence and life-saving skills with feats such as rock climbing, river crossing and flying fogs by the trained expert commandos. Wealth Out of Waste program sponsored by ITC was organized to save 1 lakh trees. 15 students of our school have undertaken the pledge to protect the environment. Rangoli competition was held for the teachers and the prizes for the best 5 designs were given to the winners on Republic Day. NCC The students of Class 9 and Class 8 of NCC Naval Wing participated in 11-day camp from 29 December 2011 to 8 January 2012 at Jim Khanna Grounds, Secunderabad. 
Mr. K. Sanjeev Rao is the second officer in charge of this contingent comprising 41 students. Our traffic commandos are well trained by the traffic police to regulate the smooth movement of the children and ensure their safety on the road. Excursion Three educational tours have been organized during the Dasara vacation. A nine-day tour to Ahmedabad, Mount Abu, Udaipur, Chitodgad, Jaipur, Delhi, Agra. A ten-day tour to Delhi, Shimla, Kullu, Manali, Chandigarh, Agra. A ten-day tour to Munar for the members of NGC. Extended study hours. In order to compensate for the loss of working days due to the political disturbances in the city, we had extended the study hours and even worked on Sundays to be able to complete the syllabus at a slow pace without pressurizing the child. Special coaching classes for slow learners were conducted after school hours to help them keep pace with the rest of the class. Display of projects Science projects are an excellent medium to express the children's understanding of the subject and demonstrate the concepts to others in an attractive way. In the first parent-teacher meeting, students of class 9 exhibited their projects which enthralled the parents. At the end of first term, students of class 8 displayed their projects. Class 7 students showed their projects at the end of second term. The displays inspired the students and parents alike. Interhouse competitions Interhouse competitions in literary, cultural and games events were held during the first and the second term with a view to tap the innate talents of the students and prepare them to face the challenges of the world. These talent search competitions proved to be a catalyst in bringing out the prodigious talent in our students who have won several prizes. Interschool Competition 18th Montfort Literary and Cultural Meet Monspectra 2011 A contingent of 59 students, escorted by 12 teachers, went to Nalgonda to participate in the 18th Montfort Literary and Cultural Competitions held at St. Alphonsus High School, Nalgonda. Our students have won two gold medals, six silver medals and eight bronze medals in various literary events. Our students also won two gold medals, six silver medals, four bronze medals and four consolation prizes in various cultural events. All the prize winners were given special cash awards by Brother Sudhakar Reddy. We congratulate all the winners. Carol Singing Competition the St. Paul's School Choir sent ripples across all institutions by showcasing their mellifluous talent and maintaining its unbroken record of winning first prize for the seventh consecutive year in the United Carol Singing Competitions for schools and colleges in the Twin Cities. We congratulate the school choir and our music teacher, Mr. John Gilles, for this remarkable accomplishment. P. Anisha Reddy of 9B won second prize in general knowledge and awareness skills conducted by Eduranet Intellectual Olympiad in January 2011. Varun Karva of 9B participated in IT Inter School Quiz 2011 in the senior category and won the third prize. He also appeared for the prestigious APAMT exam and RMO exam. The results are yet to be announced. S. Chandrika Ratnaja of 9D has won five prizes in various cultural events in music conducted by Vivekananda Balvikas Kendra. Quiz Contest for Parents For the first time, St. Paul's High School took the initiative and invited parents of students of class 5 to 9 to take part in a unique quiz contest. The first round was composed of a telephonic quiz followed by a written test in the second round. A mixed bag of questions was asked in the final round. St. Paul's Alumni Meet the school alumni members of the 1975 batch, Mr. G. Radhakrishna, Mr. V. Nagesh, Mr. P. Rajashekhar and Mr. M. Mahesh Kumar Reddy organized an alumni meet on 26 January 2011. The meeting began with J. Sushmita and V. Monika singing Vande Mataram. Head girl Meghna Mulani performed a classical dance which enthralled the audience. The alumni members honored the former principals, the retired teachers, as well as teachers who had completed 10 years of service by arranging a suitable function. They decided to institute 9 gold medals to be awarded to the school topper and toppers in the respective subjects in the SSC Board Examination. SSC Board Examination, March 2010 The school topper T. Gopikrishna was awarded the gold medal and the gold medals for topping in the subjects were awarded to T. Gopikrishna for Science and First Language Telugu, Y. Ashrita for Maths and English, M. Mary Pratima for Social Studies, R. Sailochan Reddy for Second Language Hindi, and Geetika Singh for Second Language Telugu. 
எஸ் எஸ்சி போர்ட் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் மார்ச் டூ தௌசண்ட் இலெவன் இந்த எலம்னா ஜென்ரல் பாடி மீட் ஆர்கனைஸ் பை நைன்டீன் செவன்டி ஒன் பேட்ச் த டாப்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எஸ்எஸ்சி போர்ட் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் வர் ஆனர்ட் வித் கோல்ட் மெடல்ஸ் Murinmoy Dalal was awarded a gold medal for topping the school and we feel proud to mention that he also backed four more gold medals for topping in English, Mathematics, Science and First Language Hindi. Gold medals were also given to P. Charita for First Language Telugu, Mary Manisha for Social Studies, M. V. S. Nagalakshmi for Second Language Hindi and B. Pranit Datta for Second Language Telugu. The committee members of Alumni Association decided to meet on 26 January every year. The annual event would be organized by a committee formed by alumni of different batches. Primary section An orientation program was conducted on 18 June 2011 for the parents of the fresh batch of lower kindergarten students by Mrs Helen T Elias Director of Montessori House of Children Association of Montessori International She gave parents guidelines in grooming their wards and preparing them for schooling. Principal Reverend Brother Sudhakar Reddy explained the rules of the school to the parents. A video presentation was given depicting the development of a child into a responsible young adult. He also assured the parents of all the love and care in molding their children into complete citizens. For the first time in St Paul's High School An exclusive investiture ceremony was organized on 2nd July 2011 to install the junior cabinet members led by the head boy P Abhishek and the head girl B Hindavi. The chief guest for the occasion was Mother Superior of Rosary Convent, Sister Bala Mannam. An exhibition of farm products was organized in which the students of 4th standard displayed their projects on the theme of farm products with great enthusiasm. For Children's Day celebration, pre-primary teachers presented a puppet show titled The Unknown Animal and the teachers of primary section entertained the children with song, dance and jokes. It was an exciting program enjoyed by all the children. Termwise inter-house competitions in literary, cultural and games were conducted and prizes were given to the winners in the assembly. LKG and UKG children enthusiastically participated in various games like threading the beads, sorting race, hurdle race, bunny race, obstacle race, musical chairs and fancy dress. Independence Day, Teachers Day, Christmas, Republic Day were all celebrated with great pomp and festivity to enlighten the little children about their significance. In state level science talent search examination 2011, BVS Ruthwick of 5th D secured 77% and in national level science talent search examination, he secured 71% of marks. His performance has been certified as excellent. KG graduation day was held in February 2011 in a colorful and impressive function. The chief guest was Mr. Satyanarayana Reddy, Deputy Education Officer, and the guest of honor was Mr. D. Aditya Vardhana Raju, Inspector of Schools. Social Service Charity Initiatives The students and parents of St. Paul's have always proved that their hearts are in the right place by coming forward to do charity for a noble cause. Led by brother NF Joseph, one contingent from St. Paul's provided the Christmas spirit and cheer to the inmates of the Sneha Nilayam Home for the Aged and Destitutes at Surya Pet. A contingent led by Mr. Anthony and Mr. Sudhakar Reddy visited Sneha Nilayam Home for the Destitute HIV Children at Banlagoda, Hyderabad. The students and teachers presented gifts of clothes, toys, soaps, cash, and more importantly, shared their company to raise their levels of optimism. dreams and aspirations Mr Sudhakar Reddy went to Prashanti Nilayam home for the destitute children at Karim Nagar and handed over the gift packages collected by the school children to them Sports event Shuttle badminton Rahul Yadav of class 9C is India number 1 ranked player in under 16 years group In the National Badminton Tournament held at New Delhi in December 2011 he represented the state and won the gold medal Kanishk of class 9C is India number 8 ranked player in under 16 years group and he participated in the national badminton tournament held at New Delhi in December 2011. Akhileshwar Reddy of class 9D also represented AP at the Open Badminton Nationals held at New Delhi. Tanishk of class 6C is AP number 1 under 13 years. 
She also represented AP at the Open Badminton Nationals held at New Delhi. Table Tennis Pranav Reddy of 5th A represented AP in the Nationals held at Kochi in December 2011. He participated in the Sub-Junior, Cadet Boys category and won a bronze medal. Swimming Snehit Reddy of Class 10 D represented AP in the National Tournament held at Goa. Gymnastics Risha Brahmavat of Class 8 A represented AP in the National Tournament held at Tirupur in Tamil Nadu in December 2011. He participated in the Sub-Junior under 14 years category and won a bronze medal. Cricket Varun Gaud represented South Zone under 14 in cricket tournament held in Vijayawada this month. Celebrations and Events of the Year St. Paul's Day and Investiture Ceremony We begin the academic year with St. Paul's Feast which was solemnly celebrated on 29 June. Rev. Brother Sudhakar Reddy gave a moving account of St. Paul who is the patron saint of the school. He said that St. Paul was a man of extraordinary endowments who served as an inspiration to others. He urged the students to emulate his qualities of dynamic leadership and principles to go far in their lives. On the same day, a colourful and spectacular investiture ceremony of the school cabinet was held. The school cabinet was sworn into office with head boy M. Gopi Krishna of Class 10A and the head girl P. Apurva of Class 10A along with various secretaries, the general house captains and their assistants. The chief guest Mr. A. Balakrishna, assistant commissioner of police, traffic, central zone, Hyderabad, handed over the flags to the cabinet. In his address, Mr. Balakrishna congratulated the new cabinet. He hoped that the school management under the dynamic leadership of the principal would groom good citizens who will contribute to the nation's progress. The head boy M. Gopi Krishna and head girl P. Apurva delivered their maiden speeches promising to uphold the school reputation by executing their duties to meet the expectations of one and all. The students of class 7 presented a mass drill on this year's theme Transcend Ever, Transfix Never. To mark the beginning of the inter-house competitions, the march passed by the four houses was judged and St. Gabriel House back the first place. 25th St. Paul's Annual State Ranking Open Table Tennis Tournament This year is a Silver Jubilee year of the St. Paul's Annual State Ranking Open Table Tennis Tournament and we celebrated it in a grand manner from 29 July to 1st August. The chief guest for the inaugural function was Rev. Brother K. M. Joseph, the Provincial Superior, Hyderabad Province of Monfort Brothers of St. Gabriel Society. Brother T. K. Jose, Brother Lawrence de Souza, Brother P. T. Joseph, Brother Shaoreddy, the former principals of the school, attended the function. It is to be noted that Brother T. K. Jose launched the tournament in our school and it was our privilege to listen to him talk about it on the occasion. The special guests were Mr. Kiran Reddy, PRO of APSRTC and an alumnus of the school. Mr. T. Venkat Reddy, Director of Deccan Charges, Deccan Chronicle Group. Mr. Chencha Ramaya, Lifetime Senior President and Mr. Ibrahim, the Treasurer of APTTA. The Principal, Brother Sudhakar Reddy, who is the Chairman of the Organizing Committee, welcomed the guests. The Organizing Secretary, Mr. K. Sanjeev Rao, introduced the tournament officials to the distinguished guests. The valedictory function was held on 1st August and the chief guest was Mr. A. Narsimha Reddy, Chairman, Bar Council of Andhra Pradesh and Patron of Andhra Pradesh Table Tennis Association. Mr. Chenju Ramaya, Mr. E. Venkat Reddy, Mr. Venkat Malpaka and Mr. A. Narsimha Rao were the guests of honour. Trophies and cash prizes were distributed to the tournament winners by the guests. Independence Day On the occasion of 64th Independence Day, the national flag was solemnly hoisted, followed by an inter-house tableau competition on Indian history. The four houses displayed tableaus on North India, South India, East India and West India, depicting the culture of ancient, medieval, modern and contemporary periods and presented the progress India has made over the centuries. St. Gabriel House won the first prize for North India tableau, Brother Stanislaus House second prize for South, Brother John of God, third prize for East, and lastly, St. Monfer House for West India Tableau. Group dances on patriotic theme mesmerize the audience. Teacher's Day Teacher's Day is an occasion when students express their gratitude to the noble teachers who impart knowledge and values. The school cabinet, under the leadership of the head boy M. Gopi Krishna and head girl P. Apurva, organized a unique program to honor the teachers. The celebrations included games for the teachers and a colourful cultural programme by the students. Children's Day 
November 14th is the birth anniversary of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of the nation, who was called Chacha Nehru for his great love for children. Hence, the day is celebrated as Children's Day. On this occasion, to entertain the children, the teachers got together and organized a vibrant cultural program, which proved to be a memorable event. Christmas Christmas is an occasion to celebrate the birth of Lord Jesus Christ and his message of love, peace, and goodwill to mankind. At St. Paul's, separate celebrations were held for the students, Christian students and their parents, and for the staff. Rev. Father L. Jyoti Reddy, Principal of Loyola Academy, Alwal, gave Christmas message to the staff members. A special ballet with the theme, God's Masterpiece, was presented. All the participants had a merry time with games, fun, frolic and exchange of gifts. Republic Day the 62nd Republic Day of our nation was organized in a befitting manner and the national flag was hoisted with due ceremony in the school. The principal administered the national pledge to the students. The prizes for the scholastic achievements were handed over to the students on this occasion. In order to encourage more number of students to excel in their academics, the principal Reverend Brother Sudhakar Reddy decided to award prizes to all those students who toiled hard to exceed the benchmark of 85% marks. We congratulate all these students. It is hoped that more are inspired and encouraged by this. Some people believe that the year 2012 will bring many changes to the world. We believe that the God Almighty is watching over us and protecting us. He has given us the opportunity to do our best in everything. As we prepare to face the SSC board examination in a short while, we know that St. Paul's High School students will give an excellent performance and bring glory to the institution, just like the students of 2011. Indeed, as the years go by, the reputation of St. Paul's has been continuously and consistently enhanced by the innumerable achievements of the students in various fields like academics, literary, fine arts, cultural, sports and games. It is a matter of great pride to realize that St. Paul's students continue to prove their tremendous talent and potential for genius in every field. We are indeed very grateful to the school management for providing excellent support and encouragement to the teachers and students alike. In particular, we thank our dear principal, Reverend Brother Sudhakar Reddy, for untiringly leading us with his indefatigable guidance and leadership. We also thank our Vice Principal, Brother N.F. Joseph and Brother Berkmans for being with us in all our endeavors. We thank our dear teachers for their sincere efforts and dedication and for being a source of inspiration throughout, year after year. We remain ever grateful to our dear parents for their immense support and encouragement. And most importantly, we thank the Almighty for His blessings. Once again, we thank all of you for gracing this occasion and making it a memorable one for all of us. Thank you. <laughs>